Hello everyone and welcome to Pinnacle Gamers Lounge. Today in World of Warships development blog, we will talk about the Italian battleship event, clan battles, updated brawls and other news. Well, uh, you can read this particular development blog by clicking on the first link in the, in the description. And also while you are in the description, you can go and check out our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook etc and support us on Patreon, the links of all of which will be found in the description. Before we start the video, I highly recommend you subscribe to the channel, click the like button if you enjoy the video, the notification bell if you want to stay updated with our latest videos which we update, and also share this video to your friends and other players who play this game. Well, let's begin. World Warships Development Blog Beta 15th of January 2021 1 not 00 that is early morning 1 o'clock super test 0.10.1 the Italian battleships event clan battles updated brawls and other news close testing of update 0.10.1 is starting early access to Italian battleships brawls update 12 season of clan battles and other news please note that all information in this development blog is preliminary announced adjustments and features may change multiple times during testing the final information will be published on our games website super let's read on italian battleships part one in update 0.10.1 italian battleships tier 4 dante alighieri I am pronouncing let's let's try again. I love pronouncing these Italian names. It's like pizza, you know, Margarita Pizza. We like to have the pronunciations. So Italian battleships tier of tier four, Dante Algieri, tier four, tier five, Conte de Cavo, tier six, Andre Doria, tier seven, Francesco Caracciolo, Caracciolo, Francesco Caracciolo. Oh, well, well. Too much tough words. Tier 8 Vittorio Veneto and Tier 9 Lepanto will appear in early access. Fine. Branch features SAP shells instead of HE shells. They inflict high damage on weakly and moderately protected targets and ship parts but do not cause fires. We knew that we have experience of playing the cruisers, Italian cruisers. A large number of guns with Quickly turning turrets, well, quickly turning turrets, I think 36 seconds is quite quick for a battleship, ain't it? <clears throat> I think so. Very good. A large number of guns with quickly turning turrets, a relatively short firing range and not very good accuracy. Decent concealment, maneuverability and armor. Exhaust smoke generator. Among the consumables of tier 8 to 10 ships, which will allow you to hide from the enemy without sacrificing speed. Well, I had not made a video on my first thoughts on the Italian battleships, but now let me tell you how I feel. And I feel that they have been made extremely underpowered. Extremely underpowered. Because it has been specified that these guns have very not very good accuracy which in world of Russia terms that means pathetic accuracy relatively short firing range that in world of worship terms is like so short that it'll just be outside your de detection range so not much of a difference quickly turning turret that's a troll in itself so i won't comment on that that means the ship has only one perk that is exhaust smoke generator and for that it has sacrificed everything including HE shells and its capabilities to affect other battleships. Yeah you can one might uh, argue that you can hit it via its superstructure into the citadel but let me tell you that is very hard if you are such a professional player of this game which at least I am not I don't know how many of you are but if I am not so if I'm if one is not as professional as it should be then this ships become extremely useless because you keep hitting the side armor of the ship and your shells will either shatter 
or ricochet or will cause minimal damage while the other ships with its extremely good shell ballistics gun accuracy and other perks will annihilate you just like and you're gone finished exhaust smoke generator it will not hide you forever it will hide you for a short period of time so that is not your trump card you have to have high skills so i still have doubts on this battleships but well let's see what time tells of course it's italian and tell nothing italian can go wrong can it how many of you hate pizza you can tell me if you anyone of you hate pizza come on no one hates pizza if you can't hate pizza how can you hate dante how can you even hate dante algeri just look at its name a uh, name filled with chivalry you know well too much of fun i think you take me seriously still well you should take me seriously i yeah anyways i think you think i'm having fun i am having fun don't take it seriously well in honor of the event the taranta port was updated and the following items were added permanent roman camouflage for tier 6 to tier 7 italian uh, battleships let's go again which two ships tier 6 and tier 7 that means under doria and francesco carciolo will get the roman camouflage and permanent legion camouflages for tier 8 to 10 ships that is vittorio veneto lepanto and ten i'm not sure which ship it is but they will get the legion camouflage no love no love for the the algeria and contra the cavo pain i understand and doria she looks beautiful in this camouflage doesn't she as department you just crossed yourself once again such a beautiful ship on the sea though well, let's let's see if we can no i want to it no leave it that's a lot of hard work and this vettore veneto oh my god ooh 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 this looks beautiful man beautiful too beautiful too beautiful and my god the taranto port i have no word to describe this beautiful thing man art department salute salute you my friend this is a beautiful artwork beautiful artwork for the ships i have no other thing to say such beautiful ships man whoo when i tell you metal ships are gone let's continue with the reading clan battles from 24th of february to 12th of april the 12th clan battle season will be held on the tier 9 ships in a 7v7 format the details of the season will be announced later the new season will be featuring a sm- one small yet very important change we have added a system which allows to set limits on ships ooh good one limits on ships we want to ensure that each battle type and game mode offers players diverse and interesting gameplay this innovation will allow to maintain a more variable composition of teams in clan battles and to prevent battles from becoming monotonous very important very important if it's tier 9 well then i hope hmm musashi doesn't come and destroy you at least you can put limits on musashi she's a tier 9 yamato well let's read on let's see hmm restrictions may apply for the entire season or for a certain period of time for example they can be implemented only after the first two weeks of the season and replaced with others after a few more weeks throughout the course of the season mono several restrictions will be imposed well this is interesting right people let's get through the restrictions possible restrictions general limit on the maximum number of identical ships that can go into battle for example a division cannot go into battle if more than two of the same ships are picked hmm interesting limit on the number of particular ships for example there can be no more than one yamato and one demon in the division <laughs> there's some fun restriction on picking particular ships for example you cannot go into battle on montana or shimakaze shima 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 shimakaze why are you giving an example on shimakaze she is the damsel in distress isn't she the longest torpedoes in the game and she is a damsel in distress but well in my opinion 
restrictions are very important update for the game tv1 gets smolensk burning ships down and shimakazes flooding ships down and we won't have montanas and other tier 10 9 ships coming and blapping us so good update good restriction top i enjoyed this that's a very very good thing brawls update brawls oh sorry i missed it brawls are updated for 0.10.1 now you can participate in them either alone or in a, or in a division brawls have a short duration and support small battle formats like 1v1 or 3v3 okay 1v1 that's that's interesting good for videographers like me other features brawl lasts for only a few days during the day it's available almost all the time except for period of low activity if you have the division the teammates are selected randomly when selecting allies the tier and class of your ship is taken into account teams can be asymmetric in ship classes hmm this is possible the matchmaker tries to pick enemies close to your level of play battles are conducted on maps with reduced combat areas on ships of only one tier well so brawls update i am enjoying this this is a good update this is the first uh, thought of this update i am not sure but sounds good other changes and improvements we are working on a development of the key battles over the course of the test three new ships based on amagi oland and akazuki were added to the game for testing and there were several balance changes made the display of the sun's reflection on water was updated the quality of reflections waves and calm water areas was improved on some maps the amplitude and speed of the waves were increased work of the art department and the programmers yet again ships sometimes looks very good but this time i'm telling you the environment looks very very beautiful the visibility of aiming reticles of carrier squadrons were improved on all maps i won't support anything with carriers but you know carrier players players are getting better options so please go for it. bronze league silver league and gold league containers were added they will be awarded for reaching rank 1 in the respective leagues in rank battles fine good enough the man who cleaned torpedoes unique dasha perova commanders for italian and european ships were added dasha perova i'm just hoping she doesn't come in so speaking of russian in italian or european ships yeah hope hope well if you think this humor is going too much you can always comment and ask me to stop my humor i can be serious as well but i just want to keep the video light you know other people many other youtubers keep the video quite heavy quite serious i want don't want you to be yeah i want you to be happy having fun discussing things openly so that's why i'm a bit humorous and light but if you want me to be serious i can be that as well so it's just your thoughts so please comment your thoughts on the comment section well let's continue permanent steel camouflage that can be mounted on any tier 10 ship was added permanent steel camouflage for yamato shimikaze and the moin will be automatically replaced with the new camouflage oh it looks quite simple and bland but looks good okay so this brings us to the end please note that all information in the development blog is preliminary announced adjustments and features may change multiple times during testing the final information will be published on our games website so this brings us to the end of this vlog what do i think the other changes here yeah, these are minor changes which doesn't need too much of references they are good i think they are good it's fine major takeaways brawl update not very clear not much clear but sounds quite good clan battle restrictions a very good update very supportive of it great artwork for italian battleships but the ships itself never tested them but i think they would be good if used well if for new players not the best ships but still we, we need to wait and see what comes out of it but till then let's see what can be done other than that the developing blog doesn't talk much about anything else my final takeaway is that the talent battleships event will be good clan battle update superb and updated brawls well 
we didn't understand it quite well but quite good other news and other adjustments quite good as well a very good update overall well thank you for watching pinnacle gamers lounge and being with us for such a long time thank you and i hope i have given some information to you all and entertained you if you want to watch similar videos and better gameplays you can always subscribe hit the like button and also hit the bell icon to keep yourself notified with this let's end today's video i hope you enjoyed it so pinnacle gamers lounge calling it a day thank you and have a nice day ahead peace out